that was low key nearly a complete waste of time. Big fun friends for the weekend. Tesco haul is about to commence. Oh, it's the start of the show. It's a Monday, the start of the week. So you know what that means. Weekly vlog. Basically, I'm having a very busy and hectic week this week. So much going on and I was thinking, oh my God, when am I gonna have time to film? Perks of the job, why don't I just take you along with me and film the week that I'm having? A very like exciting few days. Like it's, it's always good to be busy, I feel like. Not overwhelmingly busy, but just, you know, occupied, busy, fun things, making you just feel, I don't know, excited about life. Um, today is a Monday. It has been a bit of a very Monday-y Monday. I went out last night to Nuage on a Sunday. Who am I? So I woke up this morning already tired. Um, but I got my nails done today. The least Valentine's Day vibes nails. Why, why would I even get Valentine's Day nails anyway? Um, but I've just had my last thing of work of the day. I had a very exciting um, Zoom meeting. And now I'm off to the Lowry Hotel to have a facial. I just thought, you know what? I really, I really just need a facial. Or just like, I've been thinking about looking in to get like a facial or a massage for a long time now. And what better way to spend a Monday night, start the week with some like clear skin and also it's a hyaluronic acid infused facial they actually invited me to go and they sent me like a list of times and i was like you know what obviously like during the day i'm quite busy a nice evening facial sounds like an absolute dream i will tell you a bit more about it um it's um, the grown alchemist regenerator facial at the lowry hotel in manchester Triple weight hyaluronic acid and peptide. Like, I'm gonna like take you, I'll film little bits. Obviously I wanna relax and chill. I'll show you my skin before and after. I've currently got a bit of um, super goop glow screen on, hence the glow. I'm sure like she'll cleanse my skin and it won't look so glowy, but then it will be glowy and that will have no product on in terms of like, you know, highlighter vibes on my skin. Um, but yeah, very excited. Tomorrow is also a very exciting day, going to London uh, with Luna Bells. We're actually going to go and see Chris Brown on Valentine's Day, which is literally insane. But we're just like having a day with them with like hair and content and all of that kind of stuff. Wednesday, um, what am I doing on Wednesday? I'm gonna be setting up for my friend's birthday because they are coming up for the weekend. And then on Thursday, I'm getting my hair redone and well, I think we are. We're just waiting to see if the like extensions arrive. We are kind of switching it up a bit. So all of that to look forward to. So like I said, a pretty jam packed week and that's not even, you know, including my like work, like actual like behind the scenes, like stuff that I'll be doing. Hence why this weekly vlog was needed. Anyway, I better like head off to the hotel. Um, so we can, <laughs> I actually don't know what I thought that was. I thought I just like farted on camera. It was my watch going off. Whoa, scary. Anyway, let's go and sort this skin out, shall we? That was amazing. That was low key, nearly a complete waste of time. Um, got there, sat down and he was like, so, you know, is there anything, have you got any allergies that I should be aware of? And I was like, yeah. Um, I've got a nut allergy and he was like right uh, what specific nuts like are any like worse like have you got like really bad ones and I was like yeah walnuts are my worst one for sure and he was like oh I was like why he's like well um, our brand like they specialize in it being all natural vegan like ingredients and like all of the products contain nuts and like some of them contain walnuts so we both were like blinking at each other like right what should we do then um so i kind of actually lucked out to be completely honest because i was saying well i don't know about on my face but i can um i've used like moisturizers that have sweet almond oil in it like unintentionally and been fine like not had a reaction and he was like well should we do a massage then so we did a back and shoulder massage with the products and honestly I feel like I like a facial or a massage this evening is what I needed. Um, so yeah, I had a massage instead which was amazing. 
I didn't actually even know you could tell this. He was like massaging my back and then he goes, do you think you've drunk enough water today? And I was like, what makes you say that? And he's like, your kidneys. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, well, I can feel them like while I'm giving you a back massage and they're just like really warm. Who knew that was a thing? So then I had to confess. I was like, oh, I was like, I, def I have drunk a lot of water today, but I did go out last night. And he was like, ah, oh, yes. He's like, I did want to say perhaps alcohol, but, you know, didn't want to be rude. I was like, no, I was like, nuage yesterday. And he was like, what's nuage? I was like, it's best that you don't know. But who knew you could tell that from a back massage? Anyway, all in all, it was fab. A little bit of a hiccup, but problem solved with a back massage, like most things in life. Back home now. Dinner time, I'm making my my own version of like fish and chips. Back at it again with the Tesco boneless buttered sea bass fillets. Obsessed with them. Two cauliflower hash browns and some peas. So yeah, low-key fish and chips vibes. Don't know if it's any healthier. I'm telling myself that it is because it's a cauliflower hash brown, but who knows? Um, all I know is that it's going to be utterly delicious. Love Island tonight when I'm filming this. First Casa Amor night. Very excited. And then I've told myself because I've just got a parcel from TikTok shop. I replenished myself because it was on sale and I really wanted a full size version. New Paula's Choice Toner, Exfoliating Toner. So I thought, you know what? After all that kerfuffle and thinking I was gonna have a facial, I will give myself a facial and I'll go all out. Cleanse, tone, serum, moisturize, that kind of vibes. Um, Cause yeah, my, I'm all relaxed now in my back. Like I'm feeling very chill, about to eat something delicious. So to end, to actually end the night on a facial, I'll just have to do it myself. Won't be the same, but I'll just do it myself. The way this looks like an actual kid's dinner, but I'm sorry, I'm so excited. That episode of Love Island. Oh, I feel like this Casa Amor is gonna be hectic, hectic. I'm not gonna like give anything away uh, or ruin it in case people haven't caught up and watched yet. But it's time for bed. I forgot I've got a Pilates class in the morning. So I can take you along with me for that if I can. And it's Valentine's Day tomorrow, so I feel like I want to make myself a little Valentine breakfast. Hannah actually got me for Christmas, like a heart-shaped waffle maker. What a great time to crack that out. Um, I'm just doing my to-do list for tomorrow while I remember these things. <laughs> right, let me... Right, let's... Let's begin. So I actually cleansed in the shower. Um, I just used like a cleansing balm. I didn't have any makeup on besides like brows. So I feel like my skin is sufficiently clean. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Paula's Choice. Actually, do I need to start opening this one? Or do I still have some of my, I still have some mini, some mini left. Put some on a little, cotton pad I like to focus this like on the nose and then just whatever's left go around I can never remember if you're meant to do serum then moisturizer or moisturizer then serum I'm pretty sure it's serum then moisturizer and I saw this girl on TikTok saying I may have said this in a video before but she said the combination of using this and this from Cordely um, has like given her like a brand new face, which I'm down for. Um, I've been loving Cordely stuff. Like, I feel like that, it's a bit of a pricier skincare brand, but their shit is amazing. I love the Beauty Elixir spray. I use it in a lot of my makeup videos. Just think it is literally the makeup cakey look remover cakey makeup looking remover it basically just stops you looking cakey like it's so good and i've just really been loving it i'm trying to like give myself a facial those sculpting 
methods in. I should probably find like a gua sha or something. And I am also gonna go in with the quarterly firming night cream as well. Also, after getting out of the shower, I bought this because I saw, you know, Kelsey, is her, her name's Father Kells, like on Instagram, talk about this on TikTok. And it's like buy oil, but a lotion. And her skin, I've always thought this about her, like her skin just looks baby butt smooth in like all of her pictures and like when she's in a bikini and stuff, it just looks so soft and even. And she's like, she applies this to herself like 24 seven. So I got the small one to try. And I have to say, I do really love the like formula of it. It is literally like water. So you've got to like, when you pour it into your hand, just be careful. But yeah, I've applied that on my body after getting out of the shower. I don't know if that's too much night cream, but I just love the feel of this moisturizer. It feels like a silky balm. Let's try and... Maybe I should put some spa music on. That would be nice. The feel of that moisturizer. It's like butter. I love using these two together. Like, I am obsessed with that range. It's so good. Now let's be bougie. I've got a little eye cream. This is the Wishful Eye Lift and Contour um, Eye Cream. I feel like I've not used this in a while, so I'm just gonna like wipe that off and now we go. Mm. Oh my God, that feels nice. I'm really tempted you guys to get under eye filler. My bags are just insane. And I don't actually think it's bags at this point. It's what I've been like telling myself, like I'm just super tired, but my under eyes are actually extremely hollow as you can see, but the thought of a needle going under my eye is so scary. I've not actually really heard good things about under eye filler in the sense of just, it's very hard to find someone that does it well. So if anyone's had under eye filler, can you let me know? Because I'm scared. But then I, everyone that I tell it to and say like, oh my God, I'm really scared. And if they've had it, they're like, oh my God, it literally doesn't hurt. You don't even feel it and stuff. So I'm torn. I, my paranoid mind would just be that like, I would be the one to, well, die. And then finally, let's put some lip balm on. This is the Lano Lips 101 ointment. And it's strawberry flavor. Sorry, strawberry scented. I don't plan to eat this. I am a refreshed, clean, baby butt smooth girly. You've been seeing those TikToks as well of the people that take the piss out of um, everyone that starts their get ready with me by putting like a headband on, which I am so guilty to, but the, these TikToks just make me laugh so much. And they're like using massive things like, get ready with me to go to my dad's funeral or like something really just jump scare, crazy. <laughs> They really make me laugh, so I don't know why I need to tell you that. Anyways, ready for bed, feeling extremely soft everywhere. I literally feel like a little, a little slug, but we've got Pilates in the morning, which I'm excited about. I'm doing a toner class, which is a little bit more intense. Um, it's at 8 a.m., so it's not too bad. Yes, or oh, big stretch. Okay, let's go. All the way back. Nice, we've got two more. Make sure we are back in that abdominal little tuck position. Pull through with the right arm is down. You're looking down towards that right hand. You're find that full press back with your leg. Remember you can walk the hands a little bit closer to your knee. Press and pull the left knee into the nose. Exhale, right, roll down. Just be careful you're not too close to the edge of that box. Right, let me see you straight again. That's it, left knee into the chest. Ooh. God, that was an intense class this morning, but I'm so excited. 
It's heating up slowly. But look what I'm about to make. I'm absolutely ravenous as well. My little heart waffle maker. I've never used it before. Hannah got it um, for me for Christmas, I think. And I've been like waiting for this moment because they make heart shaped waffles. And I was like, I'm so making myself a little Valentine's Day breakfast when the time comes. Why does that feel like yesterday and it's already Valentine's Day? Um, so I'm just waiting for it to heat up. I don't have any waffle mix, so I'm gonna use like a protein pancake mix. I'm gonna chop up a banana and I've got some honey and I might just treat myself and add a few chocolate chips. Is that all right? Okay, so I've got my mix. I feel like I'm gonna add the chocolate chips after. Is that a bad idea? So you're meant to spray. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Let me just like hold these. How long do we do it for? Place food. Once cooked to your preference. Oh my God, I don't know what my preference is. <gasps> oh my God, it's hot. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't want to overdo it. Spread, spread, spread little waffle. And then, ah, ah! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Time is running out. Time is of the essence. Okay. I don't know if people do chocolate chip waffles, but I'm doing it, okay? I'm doing it. How do I know if it's cooked to my... Once food is cooked to your preference, carefully remove it from the cooking surface with a heat resistant nylon or silicone utensil. Ah! Oh my gosh. How do I know? <gasps> Yay! Do they look like hearts? I feel like they do. I'm gonna add some honey. And I have some like blueberry yog. Yog? Why did I say it like that? Yogurt. Which, I don't know, blueberries. I wish I actually had blueberries because that would be nice. But I feel like I'm gonna drizzle a bit of this on the top as well. I mean, that didn't really go as, excess, as aesthetically as I wanted it to, but Happy Valentine's Day to me. Sorry for my squeaky chair as well. I've opted for, I'm just gonna do my eyes and brows at home. And then I'm gonna do my, do my skin at the hotel because it's your skin that you really need to like last. Eyes, I mean, for me anyway, just kind of stay on, they're not really going anywhere. I'll obviously bring lash glue with me. Just to double double make sure. Um, not really sure what look to go for. I say that. Will I do a like bronze, like glittery smoky eye? Yeah. Um, right. Right. Okay, okay. <sighs> Suddenly forgotten like how I do my makeup. La la la. Let's slick these brows up. Why do my brows just look like this like bizarre shape? And why can I not be in focus? Hello, back in the room. Do I bring, I don't need to bring that to be fair. I'll bring my brow pencil and stuff with me just in case my brow randomly falls off on the train. I feel very like all over the place. I don't know why. I'm like on time, but I, f I feel rushed. It's cause I've got like a hundred people trying to talk to me. We've got like a group chat for this event today. Everyone just making sure that they're all synced up. Um, I think it's a really nice group of girls going. Um, Jordan, Izzy, uh, who have I seen on that chat? As in Jordan Lipscomb, Izzy Oakley, Demi Jones. It's that sort of vibe. And I'm excited because um, Lula Bells have, I think what looks like, literally my exact color in this like 26 inch double braid which i'm so excited about i don't have like a red hair piece so that's how i'm gonna have my hair later 
which should be gorge. I think they're doing it for us. I'm using this P. Louise palette that I picked up the other day. So cute. It's like a warm nude palette, but it's kind of more of that desert undertone. Didn't have a palette like this. And I feel like maybe this is the vibe for the eyes. Just literally, you guys know the vibes all over. I think I'm gonna do a black, no, actually I think I'm gonna do a brown winged eyeliner as well. Uh, if I can see it, oh, there it is. Let's just go like dark and sexy brown. See, it's more of that like desert color, which is actually gonna match with my outfit, which I'm gonna again put on when I get to the hotel. It's so, like face makeup and outfit I'm gonna do at the hotel and then head over to the salon and get our braid on. I feel like this is a very boring step. Let me come back when my eyes look a little bit better. A little half cut crease moment. I'm gonna go on with this like shimmer nude from the palette. I'm not even my calendar hurrying me along. Did I just say from the calendar? Like, I oh know. Sorry, I actually have no idea what I'm talking about. I think I'm gonna go over with it like a bronze sparkle. Yeah, using like a pearly satin in this part. Set that. Transitions, bath, bath, bath. Blend, blend, blend. Okay, let's do some liner and lashes. Okay, this is what we're working with. I already feel like I'm gonna get to the hotel and just redo the whole thing. I think it's cause I haven't got any skin on and I'm not like in my outfit. So we'll see, fingers crossed I don't talk myself out of it because otherwise I'm just gonna be rushed. But anyway, time to get the train and then check into the hotel and start getting ready and then we can actually get the hair done as well, which is literally the main part. I'm so excited. Holy fucking shit, that was the quickest get ready with me I've ever done. This is pure chaos. Um, yeah, I'm stressed, but I'm gonna switch to my phone now. This is the fit. Okay, the PLT top for my last haul. Cargos, I'm gonna put some like hoops in. Can't decide whether to do blingy or not. Um, so I'll bring both. I'll just have to put the other one in my pocket or something. Um, Cause I've got a gold blingy bag and my hair's gonna be up in a braid, which is so fun. Um, but yeah, if I sound stressed, it's because I am. We are here, the braid is going in. We've gone for the shade, uh, indeed. Just getting it all oiled up. Sorry, but can we just take in the drinks right here? A no boys allowed martini, V-Day passion, sweet like Lula Bells. This is what we've gone for. And I must say, that's <laughs> sensational. Just had a hoop change. Don't judge me. Okay. Behind the scenes of the TikTok. Three, two, one. You ain't got no three, two, one. <laughs> because one of them is a new dining table, literally just been opening it up. It's like solid like wood planks. I've got to assemble this myself. Not ideal on a hangover, but with my friends coming up, I'm just so happy that this actually arrived in time. And I've also got another parcel today from H&M Home that's got like cute set the table vibes. I don't know why I said it like that. I mean like plates, 
napkin rings, that kind of stuff, so we can make it look all cute for when my friends come up this weekend. Lucy, my friend Lucy's coming up tomorrow because it's her birthday, which is why they're coming. And speaking of which, also today we have to pick up her birthday cake. Which, if they've done it exactly how I've asked, it's gonna look so cute, but time to assemble this dining table. Bob the Builder. Let's go. It's gotta go there. Um, I'm getting a new, I got a new one because my old one was really good. Nothing wrong with it in the sense of like, I'd literally only really just got it to be completely honest. But uh, with my new dining chairs that I got from by Korea, the table, like it was too thick and the chairs actually wouldn't go under it. So I had to put like little things underneath the table legs and it just ruined the whole vibe but i wanted the chairs more than the table so i've got a new table and it kind of goes because they've got like these metal white harpin legs um so they go with the like white metal framing of like my bar stools and the matching dining chairs and this table is from a place called ben simpson furniture um so yeah i'm going to assemble it now and then i'll show you the finished result oh my god look how good it looks got the goods so it's from alex's bakery they let you do custom cakes <gasps> sorry i love the simplicity and i'm obsessed uh good morning because it's actually the next day i was so unbelievably tired yesterday i just told myself luckily well it's actually not luckily i was meant to be going to the hairdressers today like i was meant to have a big hair transformation i was so excited but the hair hasn't arrived in time because it comes in from Russia. Ooh. And obviously getting things across from Russia at the moment is not easy and not ideal. And that's something that can't be helped our end. Um, so I'm gonna just reschedule the hair appointment for next week. So no hair transformation today, but low-key kind of glad because I would have had to sort everything out for the apartment for my friends coming up last night because I would have been in the hairdressers all day and it would have been very tight coming back and then picking up my friend and yada, yada, yada. So now I've got the whole day free. I thought I'll do it today when I'm revitalized. I've got like some rosemary oil and a hair mask in my hair right now, but I've just had my big Tesco's order arrive for my friends. So why would I deprive you of showing you that? Okay. Big, fun, friends for the weekend, Tesco haul is about to commence. One. <coughs> Two, also we had some substitutes, which also may mean I actually do need to go out and shop today, but that could just be me being extra and I can do without. But that's not all. <sighs> not least. Right, where do we start? So I feel like when my friends come up, I always like to just double check any specific requests. And maybe, I feel like it's just because from living on my own, I just have a certain way of doing things in the morning. And some of my friends live on their own too. So I don't want to deprive them of their like morning routine or just like something that they, they would always have at home. So I always double check. And what were some of their requests? Oh yeah. Two of my friends get like chronically hungover, so it's very important for me <laughs> to know how do we fix that? Like when you're hungover, how do we fix it? Apparently the answer is LucasAid. One prefers LucasAid Orange and one likes a LucasAid Sport. So, got them in. Couple of bottles of rosé. Don't know if we'll be having them as such because we're more of the margarita kind of girls. So just got them as backups. Lemonade, I, why do I feel like lemonade always runs out? Like, you just never have enough lemonade. So I got 12 little cans. I hope that's enough. Um, mistake number one, I thought that was a big packet of Doritos. It's not. But luckily, I got big sizes of the ones that people actually wanted. Two packets of eggs. Hangover breakfast pending. Butter. Just some like yogurts for breakfast, you know. Caesar salad, just in case. Always need to check in and see what milk everyone's on these days. I'm from the cow, but my friend Lucy is oat. Look at this fucking baby oat milk. 
That's the fucking cutest thing I've ever seen. And considering she's the only one that drinks oat milk, that was perfect. Um, I thought, because I was having a little goo, like a little browse, and I was asking everyone like, what should we have for breakfast, right? Oh, also just got some like, because we're going out for dinner on Friday and Saturday night, we're going to the GK Barry Saving Grace podcast tour. Um, fun. And so we're not going out for dinner, so I just got some like frozen party bits. Cheese bites, veg spring rolls, salt and pepper prawns, and a 25 piece boneless chicken selection. If they're not happy with that, then I don't know what they will be happy with. Cauliflower hash browns. Yeah, like I said, for breakfast, look what I got. I kind of envisioned us being like hungover. Wanting to order a McDonald's breakfast. No, 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 no. Because I can't face getting out of bed. That's not going to happen. So I've got sausage patties, muffins, cheese slices, cauliflower hash browns, which if you don't know, get to know they're so much creamier. And I got my friend Lucy some corn sausage patties because she's a vegetarian. Amazing, right? I'm so excited about them. Were those in the fridge? We're in the freezer. Four classic dips, my friends and their dips. My friends and their dips are insane. Just got some wipes. Again, had to stock up on my ketchup because I think I've got enough left, but not with these people. Stocked up on a green hot sauce for margaritas. What else did I get? Tequila, I also tried to get a silver tequila, but they ran out. And then they thought the best substitute was tequila rosé. No, not for us. Um, I got these extra long candles that I thought I could put on, put on the cake. Um, another pack of muffins, because I just know we'll need more than one. Sweet chili dip for my friends. Chockies to nibble on. Crisps of choice. See what I mean? I thought I was gonna have that big, the big cheesy Dorito situation, but apparently not. Two packets of limes for the mugs. Satsumas, cause I'm obsessed. Another agave for the mugs. Pasta sauce, just in case. We just need to whack up a pasta dish. And they requested some regular bacon because I have turkey bacon. And there we have it. And this feels like a massive shop because it was, but this is only gonna last like two days with them. But I'm so excited. Hosting my friends and stuff is literally my favorite thing. I didn't actually go downstairs and get parcels yesterday that included like the setup for the dinner table. So I feel like that's definitely gonna be next on the list besides putting all this away right now. Okay, just gone downstairs to get my H&M home. It's delivered by Every, and it's got like fragile things in it. Do we think they've survived? I feel like, keep everything crossed for me, okay? But basically just wanted to get some cute dinner plates and like set up for the new table and classic. I just needed to replace a couple of cushion covers because I've got different posters on the wall. I can show you like what I've done in a sec if I didn't already, or that you didn't already see. <gasps> Please, Lord. Okay, cushion covers are a little like more dull than I hoped, but we moved. Okay, I got some napkin, like rings, like some chrome silver ones, because I got myself some nice napkins, you know? And I feel like they just look nicer when they're like wrapped in a, a ring, if that's what they're called. Like, uh, is it meant to look like that? Okay, I'm guessing yes. Just like this, Do you know, put the fabric napkins in, keep them together. So I've got a pack of, one pack of two, two packs of two. I just need to look at the plates, okay? Please say that they survived. <gasps> yes. 
Look how cute. Uh, right? It's almost like a, it's like a bowl slash plate type thing. Really liked it. Don't have like a plate that's like that. Um, and I feel like this is the kind of dish I need to eat like pasta out of or a salad or something. So what four of them? Okay. Let me like set everything up and make it look cute because that's more exciting than me just opening the same thing all over again. I am waiting on like a table runner because the thought of just like pl like plates and cups just like on straight on the wood is giving me anxiety. But look how cute and you can see it really ties in with the posters that I have and my new Ariana um, record, the Sweetener album. It just looks so cute and then going on to the sofa area i've moved my rug because we are awaiting a different one but i just got like purple and supposedly that's like an apricot color to tie in with the colors there's very spring guys i'm moving out of the dark like colors for winter and it's all just very light and pretty in here now right i'm venturing out to run my final errands one of which includes a pedicure because I looked down at my toes in the shower earlier and thought, oh my god, does anyone ever find if you get French tips, like, the amazing thing about them is you can sort of just, like, let them grow out and you can't really notice because the base colour is, like, a translucent gel, it kind of just looks like your nail, but mine are just so long, which sounds disgusting, I need to get them sorted, spray tans later, can't wait, um, and yeah, I'm just going to need to get a few bits, uh, I don't have enough like towels I forgot so I'm just gonna run to Dunelm and get a few bits need to get some cat litter probably get some more tequila because I feel like definitely can't have too much I'd rather have too much than not enough and I'm hoping like I am expecting a parcel from Dunelm and it should be the rug and some table runners hopefully they arrive today but apparently they might arrive tomorrow and then later we can just set everything up like the balloons, and I've decided, I was on the phone to my other friend, I'm not going to do the cake for her tonight. I'll wait till my other friends arrive and just do balloons, put some like bubbles out, her present, that kind of thing, and then the cake we can do tomorrow. Um, yay, exciting, but right. <sighs> Errands must be run, toes must be clipped. Why did I have three different people doing my feet? Although I must say, they're the softest and they look amazing. Um, always go to M1 Nails for my pedicure. Anyway, I've come to the Primark Centre. No, I haven't. I've come to the Trafford Centre Primark because I thought instead of Dunelm, I'll go to Primark Heim because I keep seeing TikToks about it and they've got loads of good stuff in it at the moment, fingers crossed. And I have a Primark voucher to spend. So I'm praying that I find the bits that I need. success way that that ended up being sorry i feel like we're just filming everything in the kitchen today but the way that ended up being so chaotic like everything was like I, nothing was where it needed to be okay but i did have big success in primark um really like got loads of pajamas these are for me they're their super soft pajamas love them but then I got me and Lucy like matching pink stripey ones. I thought when we get our spray tans later, we can wear them. So cute. Um, I got this. Their home section was really cute. And this like purple vase just really ties in with all of the purple vibes. Like, you know, I got that cushion, that kind of thing. Let's take the label off of that. Need to figure out where to put that. Um, I'll just put it there for now. It's gonna stay nice there. And then I got us all a towel. I actually kind of need to get rid of some of my old ones. I've washed them like really badly and they're like crispy. So these are nice and soft. I got the super soft extra large towels. Yes, it's what we like to see, it's what we like to feel. Let's take all these labels off. I got two beige and then two pinks. Love, love, love. Towels and PJs from Primark and this massive 
Primark bag. Not sure what I'm gonna use that for again, but always helpful to have bags like that. And then went to Asda to get some final little bits. Got me and Lou some champagne tonight. Got the bottle of tequila that was not delivered this morning. And got the correct size Doritos as well as a few others. I also went into their home section and got this tray because I needed like a silver tray. Do we want to replace? <laughs> Literally just replaced the silver with the black with the silver. I will decide what to do with that later. Just some other little crispy bits. I got this candle which smells, it's sweet vanilla and mint, supposedly. It's not, it literally, it does smell more vanilla -y, but it smells like coffee, like, kind of smells like, um, what are they called? The ones at Christmas that I had a meltdown about. What are they called? Guys, the latte, and I had one at, had a pumpkin spice latte, sorry, not Christmas, Halloween. Kind of smells like that, really random, but smells so good. I need to light this up like immediately. Get it scenting, scenting? Smelling up the place. Yummy. Let's let that burn. And then got Lucy's favorite crisps. Got me some chicken to have in a salad later. Um, and then a couple of dips. I'm feeling like I'm just gonna put some like dips and crisps out like with balloons everywhere. We're gonna set the whole thing up in a minute. Obviously you had to get her some corn pieces cause she's a vegetarian. Can you tell I'm literally like flapping about all over the place because I've only just got home. It's half five. She's coming at, well I have to go pick her up at 7.45. And there is just so much to do, so much to blow up. So we better get fucking cracking. Okay, we've got a happy birthday. Some like tassels. I think this is a two and a six. So we definitely want to put helium in this. Maybe some helium in the heart. And then, ooh, we've got ones with like sequins in. Okay, I feel like I just want a few around the ceiling. So I'll do like two of each color. Pop the rest in here. I'll do a couple of these sequiny ones. Okay, I won't do the tassely banner. I feel like that is just a recipe for disaster. So I'll save that for something else. Let's see this two and the six. Why do you have like string? <gasps> What's this? Okay, I'm hoping that's the six. Love hearts. Okay, let's just do two of those. Should I just get cracking? I feel like. No one wants to see me opening plastic balloons. Right, get in somewhere. I feel like I absolutely should have tied string into them. That one can go ooh, more over there. I'm gonna have to like arrange them better in a sec. Right, let's do these big boys. Okay, I'm gonna need like a lot of string Ooh, for this one. What can I use as a weight? But it worked! Um, ooh, okay, that's kind of doing it. It's just a little dice. Okay. Last one before I do the banner. Do I do the banner? Or should I just, maybe the banner's too much, you know? Let's just see what it looks like. Oops, made it a little bit too low. That works, right? Do they all need string on? That's the question. Right, let's set this table up, shall we? Yay! A present. I feel like I should say something on it. But look how cute it all looks. Don't mind me also filming it on my phone. <gasps> and then I'm gonna put the dips out when it's about time to go, even though it's literally in like a couple of minutes. And like I said, I'm gonna save her cake for 
tomorrow because my friend wants to be here when I do it. But it looks so cute. And then I'll move the table when the spray time comes. Right, just tried to make myself a little bit more presentable. Getting the bubbles back out. And then it's time to get her. Let's just leave that there. Let's see, a crisp. Is it looking good? I feel like that's so cute, right? Okay, time, time to get her. So I'll try and film her reaction. Like, maybe I'll leave my camera by the door. Like, behind the door. And I'll just, like, pick it up as she walks in. So that'll probably be the next thing. Fingers crossed that I managed to do that. Cat. He's not here. So uh, hi, make your entrance. Dun, 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 dun. Come to Auntie Lulu. He's like, gotta go. Just waiting for our spray tans. This base colour though. Isn't it funny how much a tan just makes you look? 750 million times better. I feel like you will love it. As like, you won't need foundation. It's the best. Every time I wear it, I wear it to like oh the exercise God. classes. I've nearly, finished. I've nearly run out of this. I'm obsessed with this. Of course it is. I've got two girls who are absolutely stunning. About Matching PJs on. One. And Love Island. Good morning. Spray tan vibes. I'm literally just about to shower this off. Lucy is just working from home in the kitchen i just her getting up early has made me get up early and like actually get loads of like admin work done who am i um but we're actually going to an exercise class this morning well it's 12 15 on her lunch break um before my other friends arrive which is going to be fun and we're going to rosso for dinner tonight and i'm gonna give lucy a cake so i'll get that um and yeah, and also tomorrow, did I say that we we're going to the GK Barry podcast event tour thing with Jack Wills, which should be really, really fun. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to film like too, too much from here on out because everyone's going to be arriving. There's going to be so much going on, getting ready, etc. But I'm going to include little vloggy bits and little clips so you guys can like get a little bit of an overview of what we're doing to celebrate her birthday. Let's you look like a professional sports person. <laughs> I am not looking so good. Oh my god. She's a gym class girly. <gasps> the others are here now. I'm just making a drink. I bought this and I just feel like it'll be nice with tequila, maybe a bit spicy, some limes. Kind of like a vodka lime soda, but Tequila, we'll see. Mmm, that's nice. Double part now. Things we love to see. Hi, everyone say hi to you and Hi. Steph, where are you? Hi. Of course, I had to take them to Rosso. Oh my God, my hair looks like double part. Cheers. Just candid moments of my gorgeous friends.
blue buddies by taking them up to the air. Yeah, it's all in their faces all all Hi. Hi. Major. What does one do when one is hungover? Gets their fucking ear pits. 25 past. I suddenly need one. Look at the little elephant. That's really cute. Oh, is that a little frog? Oh, look at the one like, next to it. Like, there. Is that a little frog? Yeah, that must be a frog. Oh my god. Kind of need a little. Like, these are so cute. Like a little gold Libra. Are you ready? Seem to be best. Huh? What are you doing? You're here. Oh! It's been done. Gorgeous. We go again on the espresso martinis now. Off to the Saving Grace uh, podcast tour. Got my Jack Wills t shirt on. It is, in fact, sponsored by Jack Wills. Back on the martinis. Alex? How are you? Random Saturday night. Let's do the little podcast first, and then we're gonna play some games. <laughs> Hello, Hi, Rachel Leary's blog. Oh, it's the star of the show. Thank you. Thank you. My favorite part: rummage. What a way to round off the weekend, eh? Thank you. Where's the duck? There it is. Oh, stunning. Now, folks, was the end. Oh, was that a piece of fluff? Of that. They've literally just left. Just me and Steve left now. Oh, I really, like, love hosting for the weekend. We had so much fun. Such a, like, random assortment of activities. But, yeah, so fun. It was my friend Steph's, like, first time, like, up in Manchester. And it's a shame. I kind of said to her, like... You definitely need to, obviously need to come back like in the summer and we can do all of the fun like rooftop bars and like walk everywhere and it just be really like nice because Manchester in the summer is like the best. I feel like London, Manchester, like a big city in the summer is always so fun, like sitting outside and just the vibes and stuff, but I'm absolutely knackered. So I'm gonna get cracking on editing this video. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me for my friend's weekend and like just this whole week. This really was a spend the whole fucking week with me. So, hope you enjoyed. Hello! He says hi, but now I'm saying bye. Mwah. Bye! Mm -hmm.